today we have to study about another encryption standard that is advanced encryption standard which is abbreviated as aes okay uh, advanced encryption standard was an improvement over des uh, standard uh, that we have already seen we have already studied so in des what we have seen in des we had 56 bit key and out of these 56 bit we were using only 48 bit as round key okay and des has some weaknesses and uh, it was susceptible to some attacks so that's why nist wanted another standard nist is national institute of standards and technology they wanted another standard which uh, where they can have larger key space they wanted some standard with larger key space that's why they asked for certain proposals for a new algorithm which would be an enhancement or an improvement over the earlier uh, this algorithm that was des okay and they received many proposals from the different researchers or scientists and finally they selected one proposal from the uh, scientists there were two scientists one was john damon and the other one was vincent regiment okay these were the two scientists and they had given a proposal for this new algorithm and they had named it as Randall algorithm this was their proposal and finally in october 2000 2000 this proposal was selected and after that in 2001 nist gave it a new name as aes okay for aes they gave a draft in the year 2000 although it was selected in the year 2009 so this is uh, a brief history about aes and in aes uh, there are different variants there are different number of rounds so we can have 10 number of rounds we can have 12 number of rounds and we can have 14 number of rounds and these number of rounds are basically based on some key space in 10 number of round we have key length as 128 bit when we have 12 number of rounds then we have key length as 192 bits and in 14 number of rounds we have 256 bits in the key space okay so based on the key space and the number of rounds we have three different variants of aes so this is known as AES 128 bit. This is AES 192 bit. And this is AES 256 bits. Okay, so we have three different variants of AES, and that is based on the number of rounds and key space as well. AES is a block cipher. And in block cipher, we know that the plain text block is given to the encryption algorithm and then we get some ciphertext block so here the encryption algorithm is aes and we apply a key space and here key space is 128 bit and here uh, this plain text is 128 bit and ciphertext is 128 bit but this representation is for when we have number of rounds is equal to 10 because here I'm using 128 bit key. If the number of rounds are 12, then I can have 192 bit and so on. Uh, similarly, we can have 256 bit key. So the general structure for uh, this uh, AES is, first we have 128 bit of plain text, okay? And this plain text is given to the first transformation and uh, this transformation is known as pre-round transformation. After this pre-round transformation, the intermediate ciphertext will be given to round one. And then the output of round one will be given to round number two and so on. We will go up to nth round, okay? So we have a round number nr that is the nth round and this nth round is slightly different it is slightly different 
from other rounds i will explain how it is different from other rounds and uh, then after the output of this last round you will get cipher text and this is of 128 bit block okay and for each round there is a key okay and before the first start of first round that is for the pre round transformation you will apply here a key as k0 here key as k1 here key as k2 and to the last round key as an r that is the nth round okay so total number of keys we will have nr plus 1 for example if we have 10 rounds then we will have 11 keys okay if we have 12 rounds we will have one extra key that is 13 keys fine and uh, these keys will be provided by some key expansion algorithm for example we have some key expansion algorithm and using this key expansion algorithm either 128 bit key is given 192 bit key or 256 bit key is given to this key expansion generator or algorithm and then you will get these different keys and the number of keys will be equal to the number of rounds plus one key okay and this one key the extra key is provided to this pre round transformation fine so this is the general structure for aes in aes we represent the data in terms of bit we can represent data in terms of byte we can represent data in terms of words block and state okay bit you already know that the value single value zero or one byte is the collection of eight bits words means you have thirty uh, two bits or four bytes okay four bytes block means you have four words word zero word one word two and word three so you have this block okay this is a row block similarly you can have column block like w0 w1 w2 and w3 and each word is having four bytes this w0 is a four byte w1 is a four byte w2 and w3 they are each is a, uh, having four byte and similarly you have state basically state is a four cross four matrix it is a four cross four matrix and it has uh, 16 entries so this is a 4 cross 4 matrix so it has 16 entries one byte second byte third byte fourth byte fifth byte sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 byte so all the 16 bytes are uh, in this fashion and it this is a matrix and it is represented as s00 s 10 s20 s30 and so on here you are going to s33 that is third row third column fine so what why we are using here the word state because when our uh, when we have intermediate uh, cipher text that is the cipher text obtained after one stage or after another stage that we represent with the uh, with the help of this state matrix and this is a four cross four matrix you will uh, get to know about this state when we uh, talk about the uh, first round or the round structure of this aes but before that before going into rounds we have pre round transformation the pre round transformation is quite simple we only add here or we only take the exclusive or exclusive or between plain text and the key k0 the first key that is the only thing that we do and for the decryption process that is the inverse of the encryption process what we will do is we will take the zor operation the exclusive or operation again and you will get your original plain text so that is the pre round transformation after that number of round that is the your round round 1 will start and the round structure is Uh, there are uh, certain transformations in the round structure i will draw the round structure here for the round structure initially you have a 4 cross 4 that is a state matrix 
this state matrix will be given to some transformation and the first transformation is known as sub byte sub byte transformation and after that you will get another four cross four matrix okay and then you are going to have permutation and this is known as shift rows and after that you will get again four cross four state matrix then next transformation is mix column after that you are going to have again four cross four matrix and then again the last transformation is adding round key then you are going to get four cross four matrix this could be your intermediate cipher text or the final cipher text so here you see there are four transformations that we do in this uh, in the single round of aes first is substitution then you have permutation permutation is done by uh, shifting the rows and uh, after that you have uh, uh, mixing that is a mix column transformation and then you have key addition these are the four transformation that we do in each round substitution permutation mixing and key addition but in the last round uh, as i said it, that is a slightly uh, different round from others this mixing of column it is not there so uh, now we will see how these transformations work first transformation we have is substitution in substitution uh, what we do is we substitute a byte for a single byte in the plain text and uh, there is a one predefined table for that we have a predefined table for substitution we have this table in the hexadecimal form and the format of this table is 0 1 2 so on in hexadecimal we have values up to f and similarly uh, here we have 0 1 2 so on we can have f here and the substitution is done in such a way that for example we have a four cross four matrix four cross four matrix plain text is given and here this is the first byte this is the second byte this is the third byte and this is the fourth byte similarly we can have these bytes 16 bytes total 128 bits okay and we have to substitute for a sing first byte for example here we have a first byte we have to substitute from this table this is a sub byte table and it has certain values written here for example we here in this table we have byte as 3 c or 3 e okay we have a value here for example this first element is written as 3 e and we have to substitute this 3 by another corresponding value by looking into this table so here we have 3 and here we can also have 3 and e is before f okay so this first byte uh, this first uh, part uh, of this uh, this hexadecimal number this is representing your row and the second part of this hexadecimal number is representing your column okay so this is the third row and here you have this eth column and where they uh, cross each other there would be some element at this position and this number is going to be replaced by that particular element in the sub byte table okay so i will show you that uh, substitution table okay this is a table that we use for the substitution of the values in the plain text we have to see this table and uh, based on the the, the criteria that is uh, this first element will represent the row value and the second element will represent the column value wherever they cross each other we have to substitute that value for example for example we have we have uh, some something written as 5a in hexadecimal and 5b in hexadecimal in the plain text if these entries are in the plain text and you see there is a single bit difference in these two entities single bit difference is there but when we look into the 
sub, sub by table 5a and 5b will be replaced by for example we have 5a look at look into this table 5a a 5a is replaced by be and 5b is replaced with 39 so 5a will get replaced by b e and 5b will be replaced by 39 so there are four bit difference in these four bit difference here we had single bit difference here we have four bit difference uh, you can uh, transform these two entities into uh, into into binary form into binary form then you will have the bit difference uh, in the four bits for example you have nine here you can represent nine as uh, one zero zero one and three as one one zero zero okay this is 39 and b e e is uh, your 14 and uh, you can have eight for uh, 12 and 2 15 uh, 14 this and b b is your uh, 10 11 so 11 will be represented as 8 uh, 0 1 1 so this is b e and this is 39 so you see you have uh, the bit difference here you have bit difference and uh, you have a bit difference at this position at this position and at this position so four bit difference so this is how the substitution is done and how the scrambling in the plain text is done by using the sub sub table and similarly there is a uh, inverse sub byte table and uh, you can use that in order to get back your plain text for the decryption process uh, if you have plain text as aes uses a matrix there are 14 characters so what how many characters do you need you need 16 characters for four cross four state matrix so here you will apply two characters as z so there are total 16 characters now so first of all you have to transform these characters in the space of 0 0 to 25 total we have 26 alphabets in english so you have to transform these all these characters in the space of 0, 0 to 25 and then you have to transform these values whatever the corresponding values you obtain you have to transform them into the hexadecimal form okay so you have to convert that into hexadecimal for example the letter s letter s has a value 18 in this space 0 to 25 but after converting 18, 18 to hexadecimal you will get a value 12 in the hexadecimal form you can convert it okay so uh, corresponding to this uh, plain text you can have the uh, plain text matrix as okay and when you see when you substitute the values from the sub byte table you are going to replace this matrix by the following value this is the matrix you obtain uh, after looking into the uh, sub byte table. For example, here you have 0, 0. Let's look into the sub byte table. 0, 0. 0 through 0 column, you will have 63 as value. Then next value is 0, 4. 0 and 4th, that is F2. So it has to be replaced with the F2. So here we are replacing, replacing it with the F2. First is replaced with the 63 and so on i have uh, replaced all these values by looking into the sub byte table and when you look into the inverse sub byte table you have to look this matrix in that inverse sub byte table and you will get back the this plain text uh, matrix that is that that is in the decryption process so this is how the substitution is done but one thing you must notice here that substitution uh, is here uh, done at the byte level so complete byte is replaced with another byte okay then you have next step is permutation in permutation what you will do is you will do shifting of rows shifting of rows so whatever the state matrix four cross four matrix you have obtained you will go for the shifting of rows and for shifting of rows there are certain rules 
for row zero, you need not to do any shift. There is no shift. For row one, in the state matrix, you have to shift by one byte. Similarly, for row two, you have to shift by two bytes. And for row three, you have to shift by three bytes. Okay, and the shift is towards left and you have to wrap around the bytes. And uh, when you uh, go for the decryption process, you have to shift the rows towards right. The exactly opposite operation you have to do. So before this, we had the matrix. When you go for shifting by following these rules, you will have a different state matrix. In the first row, that is the row zero. There will be no shift. And uh, here we will write C9, FE, three zero but in the next we have a shift this f2 will be moved towards left and it will wrap around and it will go to this place so f2 will come here and this f2 will shift a shift towards left 63 will come to this place and 26 to this place okay as it is a first row so there will be a shift of one byte only then we have a shift of two bytes. So here we will have 7D, then D4, then C9 and C9. This is the third row now. And here we will have the shift of three bytes. So we will have D4 here. And uh, after that, we will have FA63 and 82. So this is how the shift uh, shifting of rows is done. But he here again, uh, one thing must be noticed that this is a intra byte operation. Like we are shifting byte, we are not uh, doing anything with the bits inside the bytes. Okay. And uh, so for more scrambling, we have to go for the intra uh, inter byte operations as well. We have to uh, do something with the bits inside the bytes. And for that, we have the third operation that is mixing. And mixing operation is done on the uh, intermediate state uh, matrix. And for example, we have this uh, uh, state matrix four cross four that we have obtained after shifting of the rows. We have the four cross four matrix. And there is a constant matrix uh, we have to multiply each word. So we have we can have word zero, word one, word two, and word three. So this is word one, uh, zero, word one, word two, and word three. So we, we have total four words in this state matrix uh, that we have obtained by shifting of rows. So here, what we will do is we will take this first word these four values four bytes this is the column matrix we will take this column matrix so this is going to be a four cross one column matrix this is going to be a four cross one matrix okay so we have to multiply this first word that is word zero we have to multiply it with a matrix which is called as the constant matrix for example, this is a constant matrix, and here we have x, y, z, and t. Okay, so what we are going to get, we are going to get new matrix. That is the first column of the new matrix. This one, this first column will be obtained. Similarly, we have to take this constant matrix and we have to multiply it with the second column of the state matrix. And then we are going to the next column. And similarly, we can get next column and next column. And this is going to be the next state matrix. Okay, that will be that will be, we will be obtaining after mixing of the rows. And for mixing of the rows, this constant matrix, this is a predefined matrix. And here I will show this predefined constant matrix. Till now, we have already done the three steps, and now we have to see the fourth one. Fourth step is addition of key or key adding, key addition. 
so first we will take a 128 bit key and then uh, that key is treated as uh, uh, four uh, 32 bit words and each word is considered as column matrix so uh, we have to uh, define we have to produce uh, four extra words uh, as compared to uh, when we compare it with the uh, some particular uh, variant of AES, like if uh, in the AES and uh, uh, 128 variant, there we have 10 rounds, we can have 44 words because uh, there is a uh, one extra, uh, the, the four extra word, words are required for the pre round transformation. And in the key, uh, uh, adding key round transformation, what we are going to do is we have four cross four state matrix and we are going to add it with the key matrix. Here we have word zero, we have word one, we have word two, and we have word three, okay? Four columns, four entries in each column, and the first column is represented as word one, word, uh, word zero, word one, word two, and word three. And we have to add it with the four columns of this state matrix and we are going to get the final ciphertext matrix. So how the key expansion is done, uh, for, we have a 128 bit key and we have to expand that key and uh, for AES 128 bit variant, we have to produce 44 words. 40 are required for 10 rounds, 40 words are required for 10 rounds and four words are required for pre-round transformation. And out of these uh, 44, 40 words are required for 10 rounds. And for key expansion, there are three steps. In key expansion, first step is we have to rotate. We represent 128-bit key as four words. And each word is of 32-bit and the 32-bit word is rotated eight bits to the left. For example, if we have word like this, 0, 8, uh, 23, 19, and 0, C. So we have to rotate it towards left and then wrap around like this. So 0, 8 will come to this place, then 0C, then 19, and then 23. Don't get confused when I was saying that W0 is a column, but you can represent this W0, the column matrix, as a row matrix here. For example, this is the W0, okay? And you are representing it as row matrix, and you have to make the left shift, okay? And you will get the contents like this. So here, this is the byte one, byte two, byte three, byte four. Okay, and similarly, you have to do for all the four words in the uh, key matrix. That is the one thing. Number two step you have to do is, you have to again uh, look into the S box, substitution box lookup table. So S box lookup table needs to be uh, looked into. For example, for example, if uh, there is an entry like 0C, you have a 0C, you have to substitute this entry with the same lookup table. And that lookup table is the same that we use. 0C, 0 means first row, uh, this, this first row, and C means uh, you are having an entry here, FE. In the first row, you under C column, you are having entry FE. So you have to replace 0C with the FE. So again, you have to look into the substitution table and you have to replace the values in that key. Okay, that is the second step in the key expansion. And the third step in the key expansion is round constant multiplication. There are some predefined constants and you have to use for each round. For round one, you have constant as 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is a constant you have to multiply with in the round one. 
for round two, you have zero two zero 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 zero. For round three, you have the constant as zero four zero 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 zero. For round four, you have zero eight and all zeros. For round five, you have ten here and all zeros. For round six, you have twenty here and all zeros and so on you have different constants for different number of rounds for 10 12 or 14 rounds you have different constants so you have to multiply with the uh, words uh, in the in the key with these constants accordingly with respect to the uh, round number okay so then after obtaining the final key what you are going to do is you are going to add the s cross uh, 4 cross 4 4 cross 4 S matrix, you have to add the key matrix, whatever you obtain after doing all these three steps. Okay, so this is how the key expansion is done. So uh, this is all in this algorithm AES.